So then the the interview that you mentioned earlier, Adam Page, the hangman, oh my the drunk God. man. Yeah. Jim Ross sitting down interviewing Adam Page. JR elevated and enhanced Mick Foley's career immensely with that famous sit down between him and mankind. They pretty much just went into it and created what they were going to do because I was on the creative team at the time. We didn't write no verbiage. This was not that. JR had to sit there and try to ask this guy questions like it was a serious thing while Adam Page is sitting there drinking whiskey out of a glass and admitting that he was drunk and that he was nervous about the match. And he all did he almost cry saying he's nervous about the match with Omega and JR's trying to say moderation, son, and it, like an intervention. This was a two minute intervention for a pathetic insecure drunk and that was almost crying now i thought olivier becoming the cleaner going back to the old omega i thought he was then supposed to be the heel hasn't he been obnoxious hasn't he been uh condescending to people hasn't he been acting more heelish in his own really milk soppish way so now page then by by Obviously, all logic would be the babyface, the guy we're supposed to cheer for, but he's an insecure drunk that cries on television and is basically drinking and says if he doesn't win, he's got nothing left but whiskey. What the fuck is any of this? And by the way, they got Jake Roberts working there. Have Adam Page spend the day with Jake Roberts so he can learn oh, how to do this. Wait a minute. Now, hold on. You just... So he can learn how to talk or he can learn how to be a drunk. How to be a drunk on camera. This is so no. ridiculous. It's so he should. He should. They have Jake Roberts on uh, on staff. They should spend a j day with Jake and Paige for Jake to teach Paige how to do promos, get himself over, and tell the amateur fucking booker that owns this thing that he's not going to be drunk anymore so it, he has a career after this fucking program is over with. Paige has been completely gutted filleted and left to dry in the sun a future star a guy with all the tools and all the talent and in the past year they have put him in a reluctant team with a fucking complete idiot as a partner that they, they have made him an insecure and unreliable drunk and now if he don't win this match if he puts that fucking casper milk toast harpo marks looking muck, motherfucker over then all he'll have is his whiskey and he's fucking done. Who's going to, the AEW fans are going to like him, just like they like anything, including a swift kick in the balls. But no other normal wrestling fans are ever going to fucking look at Paige like a fucking main event talent again because he's been through this fucking wood chipper called AEW Amateur Booking. Did you have any closing thoughts? I don't know what else to say, but I mean, guy has a world of talent. I'm not crazy about the whole the wrestler is a drunk thing, but if you're going to do it, do it right. The Sandman, kick-ass drunk. I was about to say, he's not even a fucking drunk like a goddamn wild-ass drunk in wrestling would be. He's a pitiful, crying, sobbing-in-the-corner no, drunk. I know, he's like a teenage girl who just discovered the family's liquor cabinet. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's just, it's so unbelievable, and he always has his little cocktail with him everywhere he goes. Well, he came out later on to make the fucking save, and he's still carrying he's still the glass carrying in his hand. You can't put the fucking thing down. To that's what makes all this so phony. And people go, "Well, look, it's so fucking stupid. He can't even put his drink down to come out and save this guy." He's a sad drunk. It's just so stupid. It's so stupid. You're not allowed to kick the commentators. You get fined, but you're allowed to go out on camera allegedly <laughs> drunk. Yeah. Somebody ought to ask Tony Khan, instead of the concussion protocol, what about the fucking alcohol abuse protocol? Aren't you supposed to, like a pilot, aren't you supposed to have 10 hours after you drink before you can fly a plane or whatever? He's sitting there with Jim Ross. How many drinks do you think Jim Ross had that day? Jim Ross had probably had more drinks than Paige had, and he sounded just fine. Yeah, he's handling it fine. Paige is falling apart.
That's because, and, and this is the, the, their thing. It was Stone Cold Steve Austin, the beer drinking, hell raising. Austin was portrayed as a man who could handle his liquor. <laughs> That's right. Fuck. So that guys wanted to be him, not fucking laugh at him and say, I'd like to slap you and take your fucking girlfriend. 